Hi guys, so welcome to this new video on my YouTube channel. So this video is gonna be a Q&A. So like uh, two days ago, I posted a story on my Instagram asking you to ask me some question for this Q&A video. And I was really not expecting to receive all of these questions. So I picked 30 questions and I'm gonna answer it right now. So like you see, I have all the questions here. So now let's start. So first question, what is my favorite apparatus? I think that my favorite apparatus is cloud but it depends mostly on my mood because I love every apparatus but my least favorite one is definitely ribbon like it pisses me off so much sometimes second question how many hours do you go to training? so right now I train like 30 to 35 hours a week and I train for 6 days a week but sometimes I train even more third question what's the best thing you have learned from gymnastics? So I really can't say one thing because there is a lot more than one. But one of the best things I have learned from gymnastics is that if you really want something, you have to do everything you can to have it because if you don't, it will never come like that. It's not that easy. And if you really want something, there is nothing that can stop you. So next question. When did you start gymnastics? So I officially started gymnastics at 6 years old, but when I was 2 or 3, I was always playing with apparatus at home and when my mom was coaching, she was bringing me to the gym and I was also playing in the gym. So fifth question, uh, do you have a specific routine that you do before you step on the competition carpet? That's a good question and yes, I have a little ritual that I do before every apparatus before competing. But I think that every gymnast have a little something like that. Sixth question, how old are you? So I am 17 years old and I was born the 17th April 2006. Seventh question, uh, what's your favorite competition? I don't really know which one is my favorite competition, but the most memorable one was uh, last year in Turkey because the crowd was cheering for me so much in every apparatus. I felt like dreaming and it was for sure one of the best competition that I had in my entire life. Eighth question. So what is your motivation to never give up and not quit gymnastics between I admire you so so much? So first thank you so much that means so much for me. So of course there was some time when I was thinking about quitting and there is some time when I have no motivation but when it's like that I always think about my goals and I also always think about how hard I train to come where I am right now. Question 9 so which languages do you know? I speak fluently Georgian, French and English and I understand almost everything in Russian and can speak a little but in the future I really want to learn Spanish. Question 10 how to be flexible like you? So at first I was really not flexible like you see right here but from the age of 7 to 11 or 12 I stretched every day for hours so that's how i become flexible and so the best advice that i can give you is that to be regular and stretch every day for the most you can question 11 uh, how do you keep in shape and stay fit of course it's really hard to always stay in the best shape but I always think that if I eat correctly and train for like one or two hours on my day off or on vacation, uh, I'm gonna do it for my future self and my future self is gonna be thankful. <laughs> of course, it's a lot easier to do my best when I'm in a good shape. So I just think about my future self. Question 12. How is it to have your mom as your coach? Having my mom like a coach is the best thing, but it can also be the worst. One of the best things is that we can understand each other the most, but of course there is a lot more of good things that is only one of the best. And one of the worst thing is that if I train bad, my mom is going to be of course mad at the gym, but also at home. So there is a lot of pressure too. Question 13 where are you from so i am from georgia but i was born in france so i have the double nationality question 14 have you ever developed an eating disorder i can't really talk about this because i have never been to a doctor about this topic and also i don't really like to talk about this 
So next question. Question 15. Your goal. So I have a lot of small goals, but my biggest goal is of course to go to the Olympics. So I already answered to a 15 question and the video is becoming very long. So I think that I'm gonna stop here and if you want a part 2 where I'm gonna answer to the next 15 question that I didn't answer in this video, tell me in the comment and I'm gonna film a second part. So I'm done with this Q&A and don't forget to like this video so you will let me know if you liked it. So bye guys and I'll see you in another video.